Well, hello there, and here we have a little XM Plus receiver fresh out of the packet. I wanted to revisit the video I did about flashing, as someone told me that the Neutronus uh, XQ7 or QX7 is working differently. But I thought I'd just show, because I'm doing so many of these now, exactly what I do on my normal Tyrannus, and then we'll flick over. I actually now keep, just so I don't lose them, in the back of my Tyrannus, a smart port uh, adapter and a regular server lead that I've changed around. And I've even put in there, because I always forget where I need to put the signal, the ground and the power, which is important. You'll notice in this, I have, it's just what actually comes in the, the XM Plus actually. These little pin things. And the reason I got these is that rather than solder stuff on these days, I actually get the driver around. Tend to just hold these in place. So I thought I'd just show you what I do first off. So we'll plug this in the right way around. So signal at the bottom, ground and power. Turn on. Uh, okay, so if we go into my firmware folder, I tend to um, use the RSSI on channel 16 now. So if we just hold that in. I need to. Basically, what I'm going to do is just hold this in place. Don't need to do it particularly tightly. Just like that will do. I've got it just so I can hopefully see the numbers. Flash that. That's writing. Of course, I'm holding it backwards so you can't see the lights flashing. But you can see, I hope, that this is a, an absolute no hassle thing. You just you hold them lightly in place. They will keep the contacts quite nicely. And that will write away. Right. And all done. That is now ready for use. Now, on the QX7, the story is a little complicated. Um, again, you have module pins at the back. Same servo, swap over. Focus, and then we're going to hold on to the thing. Flash. And away it goes. And we see you've got the little lights flashing away there. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Now, this bit comes down to when you got it and what sort of model it is. If you happen to connect all that together, you try and flash it, and then you get this message, it's possible you've got a newer one. If you look under the flap and you've actually got some pins in here, mine's just got a space, it's a slightly older model, then what you need to do is use a regular servo cable. So don't swap the pins, make sure your voltage is in the middle and that would go in that way round. So ground voltage signal and the other end is the same and you'd plug your receiver in and do it that way. Unfortunately I can't show that because I've run out of radios now, I've only got the two. <laughs> but that is how you do it. For the old style Tyrannus and the older QX7s swap ground and voltage and use the pins at the back. For newer ones, where you've actually got pins here on the S port, use a regular servo cable, ground goes in that way, and flash it that way, and that should all work for you. Fingers crossed. See you next time.